All right, hello and welcome to Plant-Based Homestead Prepping, where we make prepping fun. In this video, we're just gonna talk about some finances, using some common sense, and really planning your future out. All right, so if this is your first time being here, uh, please, sir, please, ma'am, hit the subscribe button, hit the uh, bell icon, click on all if you like this, con uh, this content. Those of you that are new, uh, that are older, that have been around for a while, thank you for coming back. And if you're not getting a notification, unsubscribe, resubscribe, hit the bell icon, and uh, click all. Because you might not be getting them because you might not have the bell icon clicked. I want to thank Queenie again for my necklace. Anytime I see it on the video, I always try to mention her. Thank you so much, Queenie. So listen, guys. <clears throat> I got a lot of things going on right now where... I have put myself on a six-year plan, myself and my family, on a six-year plan to be totally retired. I mean, like, have the option of being done, done with it, okay? And I've been working really hard since hey, the summer of 2020 to make that happen. Now, when you are working extremely hard and you're open to opportunities, opportunities will come your way. Now, I said that by 50, and I'm 46 now, I said by 50, I wanted to be, you know, on the other side where I could retire. I've given myself six years, which puts me at what, 51? 46, 52, okay? Now, if it happens before then, fine. And if it happens at 52, fine. But what I'm trying to teach you guys and help you guys understand is you want to have options. Because life is so much better lived when you have options. The more options you have, the better your life is. Trust me on this. When you don't have but like one option, maybe two, life is sucking. When you have five, six, seven, eight options, you got to play chess with your own life. Like, okay, well, I'm going to move this piece here. Then I'm going to transfer this piece over here. Then when if that happens, then I can back pedal back over here. I can move to the side and boom, then move up. You got to be playing chess with your life. And all playing chess is, is just moving the pieces and making the best decision with what you have. Do y'all agree with that? Anybody disagree, put it in the, in the comments. I disagree with everything you're saying. I know you can't because that's the truth. One thing I'm going to do, I'm going I'm to speak the truth to you. So... <clears throat> Let's talk about opportunities for a minute. Let's talk about opportunities. Let's say you have an opportunity to get involved with something, company, a ministry, or whatever. I want you to start looking at things as, well, I want you to start looking at opportunities. Don't look at things. Look at opportunities as, is this a good opportunity? Is this not such a good opportunity? Opportunity? Is this a great opportunity? That's the way I want you to be. It's a good opportunity, not so good opportunity, great opportunity. And what I want you to do with your great opportunities, I want you to really, really, really work those. Okay? Really work those. Your good opportunities, they can kind of take a little back burner. I still want you to work them, but make sure the, the, the great opportunities, the ones that are going to produce the most for you, do that thing. All right? Do it to the, to the most. Because see, a lot of y'all remember a lot. Well, I'm not gonna say a lot of y'all. That's that's excluding myself. A lot of us are trying to get to the point where we're self-sufficient. We have our own land. We have our own power. We have our own water. A lot of us are trying to do that, right? Am I right about it? Y'all tell me. And in order to get there, if you have, if if you're like 20 plus years old now and you have not gotten your land, your homestead, your house, your whatever, your farm, if, if you're 20 plus years old and you haven't gotten there, you haven't done that, then one of two things need to happen. Either one, you need to keep doing what you're doing if it's working. Number two, you need to change some things or you need to change slash and or add some additional opportunities that are going to produce what you need it to produce in order for you to get where you're trying to go. Y'all do it. Talk to me now. Y'all understand? Okay, are y'all getting it? If you've been doing the same thing over and over and over again, 
for the last 10, 15, 20 years and you have not gotten where you want to go, you need to make some changes, period. You have got to make some changes because if not, guess what? The next 10 or 15, 20 years is going to be just like the previous 10, 15, 20 years. It's just common sense. Nothing's just going to fall from heaven and just whoop, change your life. Life doesn't work like that. You have the power. You have the control. You can do it. And it doesn't matter what your situation is. It doesn't matter the, the hand that life has dealt you. You have the power to get it done. Now, as I told you guys in 2020, I'm going to bring some opportunities in for you to help you along the way. I'm going to bring some opportunities in for you. And trust me, I don't bring opportunities in until, I, until I've tried them. I know they work. And I know they're going to work for you. I don't bring opportunities in for you until I try them, know they work, know they're going to work for you. Because the thing that I'm going to be bringing to you guys, guess what? I'm already doing it. I'm already reaping the benefits. So if you decide to do it, fine, great, awesome. Will I make some commission? Will I make a little percentage off what you got going on? Yes. I think that's only fair. And isn't that fair? That if I bring something to you and it's going to change, it's going to potentially change your future, change your life, should not be compensated? That's just, I mean, don't be so greedy and selfish in your life that you don't want to see somebody else get what they, what they, what they are due to get and to gain. I'm going to say that again. Do not be so selfish in your life with your money. Okay, we're talking about finances right now. Don't be so selfish with what you have going on that you're afraid to lose 50 cents. you making $2. You're afraid for me to make 50 cents. And some systems are like that. I just left a system that was like that. And it's sad because you know what? It's enough for everybody. It's enough for everybody. Now, will everybody make equal? No. Everybody's not going to make equal. That's just, no, that's just life. If you strip all the money in the world and you equally divide it against, uh, among everybody in the world, the same five percenters, okay, the top five income earners in the world, you give the, you, you give the whole entire globe five to ten years and the money will be distributed the same way it was. Why? Because billionaires have a different mindset than millionaires and millionaires have a different mindset than 100,000 heirs. 100,000 heirs have a different mindset than 10,000 heirs, and 10,000 heirs have a different mindset than everybody else. And unfortunately, the 95% is to everybody else. Now, have some people had some greater advantages? Yes. But a lot of us don't take, it, take advantage of advantages or opportunities that come our way. And we, we're so afraid to hold on to $5 we can't let it go, so it'll go make 50 for us. I'm not that way. I'm like, hey, so, 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 because I believe in reaping, 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 reaping. It's just a principle. And whether you believe in scripture or you believe in just the way things are, you cannot receive anything with a closed fist. Nobody can stick anything into this fist right now. You can get punched by it. But you can't, you can't stick anything into this fist. Only when you open up can you receive. And that's not only opening up your, your hand, that's opening up your mind, that's opening up your heart. Okay? So listen, I'm going to go ahead and finish this, end this. I love you guys. We'll continue on later. Y'all be blessed.